Hey guys, I'm back with another video here, and this is going to go on all three of my channels. Um, but yeah, I'm just here to warn you guys about uh, the chip, which is FRIS or something like that. The microchip, which uh, they're saying that it will be implanted in you if you want it right now. That's what they're saying, like if it... You know, it's recommended. Like, if you recommend it, I mean, but don't get it because it's part of the Antichrist, which is a false messiah, which we know that no devilish thing is the messiah. Jesus, the Son of God, is the messiah, and there will only be one messiah, and that's Jesus Christ. And, um, that's only... That's God's only son. Um, he sent to die on the cross for us. And I want to just tell you guys... Well, just read this to you guys. Um, um, it's a thousand... Well, no. A million dollar bill. Uh, which is a fake million dollar bill. But it has a little message on the back for you guys. Here is the million dollar question. And I'm going to ask you guys this but um you could just answer in your heart um will you go to heaven when you die and that's the million dollar question um but that's the number one question that you need to ask yourself are you ready to go when you die will you go to heaven when you die and so yeah here's a quick test have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Jesus said, Whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart, and the Bible warns that one day God will punish you in a terrible called in a terrible place called hell. But God is not willing that any should perish. Sinners broke God's laws. Sinners broke God's law. And Jesus paid their fine. This means that God can legally dismiss their case. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Which is John 3.16. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death. Today, repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life as a free gift. The, then read the Bible daily and obey it. God will never fail you. And you can go check these people out. I'm not a paid sponsor, but uh, it's livingwaters.com. So go check that out. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, if you're saved by the grace of God... Um, thank you, God, for saving their souls. But, um, you know, we need to spread the word, um, through social media or, or to your friends and they'll tell their friends or, you know, or anything like that. You know, whatever God puts on your heart, you need to do it. So, I'm here to tell you guys today that the chip is coming um, it's not recommended, so don't do it in the first place. It's, it's costing people $300 to get it. Um, don't get it, guys. I know they say you could take it out, but still, yeah, if you get the mark of the beast, you got the devil. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope and pray that you guys don't get it, because, you know, that's bad, and it will always be bad. People may say, Jesus isn't real, Jesus is real. Because, you know, it's in the Bible, so it's obviously real, guys. And we know it for a fact because, you know, God created the heaven and the earth. The heavens and the earth. And, you know, he's coming back morning or night or noon. And many will meet their doom. Trumpets will sound like that song. Uh... But, um, 
yeah, you just got to be ready, guys. We got to be saved in order to go to heaven, and that's by F. Uh, God knocks on your heart or um, tells you in a small voice like he did me and I want to thank the Lord for saving my soul and we should all be able to say that uh, but you can't get saved yourself guys you got to ask God to come into your heart and into your life and he will do it in his timing and will it may not be that day um, but it will be in his will and timing. He gives everybody a chance before they leave the walk, uh, the walks of this life. And um, so, yeah. And he asked me on a church bus when we got, well, when we stopped at the church. And I didn't really know, well, yeah, I didn't really know what to do. So I asked my mom and... Then she told me to ask my preacher, and I did. Then church started. Then, um, after the singing, uh, the preacher asked if uh, anybody had a prayer request. Then uh, people kind of went ahead of me. Then I said, I feel like I need to get saved. And they brought me up there. I tried it on my two little feet, and... Um, and then we kneeled down at the altar, and uh, he was asking me questions like, what did Jesus do, and what Jesus didn't, didn't do. Then uh, he told me the right answers, um, but I was afraid that I'd get them wrong. But um, then he asked me if I accepted Jesus, and that he, if he saved me, and I said yes. Um, so then, uh, after he got me up he asked me if I had anything to say anything to say at all and I said the only two words that came into my mouth that God gave me was I'm saved and that's what we're supposed to do that's the two words that we're supposed to say but God will give you the words to say my friends uh, once you get saved truly saved by the grace of God um, you gotta get saved and have testimony and get baptized Guys, that's all part of it. You can't get partially saved, but you know you got to have a testimony. But um, but yeah, um, but yeah, guys. Uh, so yeah, and there's uh, and in Europe they're doing it as well, guys. But guys, I'm here to tell you, uh, worldwide, you know, on YouTube that. You know, you don't need to take it because it's bad, it's wrong, and, you know, it's in the Bible, and it's part of the devil, so don't do it. Because God don't want you to get the mark of the beast, he wants you to get saved. And I hope this goes on the news, guys. I hope this goes worldwide. Um, so, yeah, guys, so please like, subscribe, and comment below. Don't forget, Jesus saves, and don't forget to eat some Oreos, um, and don't forget to not take the mark of the beast, and God bless.